did the success of the CSI franchise make it easier sell, a tougher sell? I, I wish it was that clean a story. Um, um, I had an overall deal with 20th and um, had, uh, had been working on getting a, a law show up and going when um, uh, that really went bad. I was uh, dealing with, uh, with a relatively famous lawyer, big shot lawyer. And uh, it went bad, and I, and I bailed on it. And uh, that sort of left me um, owing 20th a pilot at the end of the pilot season. Um, and uh, they wanted me to meet with Barry Josephson, who, who's not here tonight, another executive producer on the show. And he had a forensic property. He had um, uh, optioned an A&E special on Kathy Reichs, the novelist. Um, and I had no interest in that, but I Googled Barry. I can say that because he's not here. <laughs> and I thought, I'd like to meet this guy, uh, Mr. Hollywood. Um, and uh, so I went in to talk to him. And um, he, uh, I told him I wasn't really interested in doing a forensic show. I, I said that many, many times um, uh, it, to, to everyone that I wasn't interested in doing a forensic show. And the more you said it, the more they show. said, you should do a forensic they, show. They said, they, um, I knew they were lying to me. They said, no, no, we want your particular take on it. Um, but I knew they were lying. I knew they'd fire me instantly and get someone in to run something like CSI. Um, uh, but uh, it turned out they, they weren't lying or else they, I don't know, I, don't, I guess we persuaded them is what happened. Uh, that we should do kind of an odd, oddball, character heavy comedy <laughs> version. Hmm? A little arm twisting there um, the first year. <laughs> you know, I got my ass kicked a ton. But, uh, uh, you, well, you're doing, you're doing kind of a, kind of a crossover show. I mean, it's, it's a little with this and a little with that. Strange, it's a strange it's a hybrid. hybrid, yes. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I've always thought that our strengths are our weakness, which is it's, an, it's a show with a real... Uh, David used to say, why aren't we the number one show? And I'd try to explain to him, because we're, we're difficult and ornery and politically incorrect and um, <laughs> not bland enough to be a number one show. Um, and I think, actually, it's as we go into season three that uh, maybe you're starting to agree with that. I a little know. bit, yeah. Yes. And we're not the atypical soap opera, that's for Sure. No. I mean, yeah. we have our moments of our relationships. That's the most important thing.